If you're gonna fight Malekith, do not fight him unless you have this item. This item will save you hours. I'm talking about the Blasphemous Claw. This claw can parry specific melee attacks from Malekith. Sword will briefly glow yellow before attacks that can be parried. You can actually find the Blasphemous Claw right before you fight Malekith. So instead of going to the right of the bridge where you fight that tree sentinel, go ahead and go to the left instead. By doing this, you'll reach Knight Bernal and you have to fight him. Once you defeat him, then he'll drop the Blasphemous Claw. I completely missed this item and had a horrible time, <laughs> but I beat him using this frost build. So enjoy this next clip of me beating Malekith without the Blasphemous Claw. <laughs> but if you don't want to struggle like I did, um, yeah, make sure you get that. first. Dead. Uh, yeah. 
Yes, chicken. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Heck yeah. What the freak? Oh my goodness. I told you I could feel it. Oh, what's going on? What the? Hey, yo. I mean... I don't know if I put my hand in it, but... Yeah, you might want to back up, my guy. You might want to back up a little bit. Or not. Dang. The moon of death is unbound. What? And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. Dang, Melina. Well, it is then. Look what you did, Melina. You'll be Elden Lord yet. Oh, yeah? 